A major exhibition of paintings by the late Lucian Freud has just opened in London. Best known for his fleshy nudes in muted colours with thick brush strokes, Freud was described as Britain's greatest living painter in the last decades of his life. His vision was quite unique uh, as an artist and this exhibition covers seven decades of his work and within that we meet very many people, very different types and the painting style um, develops and changes over time. David Dawson regularly posed for Freud. He was also his assistant and worked closely with him for more than 20 years. He says Freud's portraits could easily take a year to complete. It was a very slow process. It, large paintings would take at least 12 months. Um, and, and by looking very in intensely at, the, at his sitter, he would glean information from that and layer it onto the painting. And over the months, all the sort of um, personality within you would slowly come out, so you'd see fresh things. Freud's obituary in British newspaper The Times ended, he's survived by many children. The figure ranges somewhere between 14 and 40, and Freud did nothing to hide his womanizing. One of his daughters is Jane McAdam Freud. After her parents separated, she had no contact with her father for more than 20 years. But they were reconciled and Freud sat for this sculpture by his daughter. I don't think he was heartless at all. I think he was very vulnerable. And so I think he just did the best he could. And he was true to himself. He, I've made a work there with truth on it because I think there's something about being true to one's nature. I mean, one might say one's animalistic nature, but that's who we are. We are the human animal, and we have lots of layers on top of that. The exhibition at the National Portrait Gallery runs until the end of May.